Hi. Today we'll talk about the basic principles of sine wave of sine wave oscillators. What is sine wave oscillator? This is uh, fundamental for the electronics building block, which uh, generates a time reference signal. So we will have a block. So the block which generates a sine wave signal. So this is a sine wave with a stable amplitude and a stable period to be used as a time reference of course so what is the basic principle of this I'll start with the generic expression and definition of a positive feedback system so imagine that we have an input signal which will pass through a forward gain, AS. So this is described in the S domain. So the signal will have, the transfer <coughs> characteristic will have certain magnitude and a phase rotation. And then we'll produce an output signal. We'll take this output signal and we'll pass it through a feedback block, BS. So we'll produce a feedback signal, XF. And this feedback signal will sum up with the input signal and put it back in the feed forward gain. So there is a loop, which is a positive feedback loop, because we are summing up the two, the two signals, the input signal with the feedback uh, signal. So our, gain, our goal now is to define the transfer characteristic of this loop which gives the rule basically of how we define the output signal with respect to the input signal. So I'll define it here as AF in S domain. Um, <coughs> so I want <coughs> this expression to see what will be the conditions to eliminate the input signal and still have a stable output signal which is the definition of a sine wave oscillator. So let's first analyze the feedback system. So I'll write two equations. The first equation will be the definition of the feedback system, which is I take the output system, uh, the output signal, and I pass it through the feedback gain, beta S, and then I produce the feedback system, XF. Then I'll take XF, I'll sum it up with the input signal, and I produce this signal here. I pass it through the feed forward gain AS and I produce back the output signal. Now, my goal is to derive the transfer characteristic and for this reason I need to eliminate the XF from these two equations. So I'll take the first equation I'll put it in the second equation. So XF is here, let's see what I'll get, X0 beta s times the feed forward gain uh, plus x i a s equals to x zero x zero this side the input signal that side so i'll get something like b s a s minus one equals to as times the input signal and now I can have now an expression of the transfer characteristic from the input to the output which is equal to I'll multiply by minus 1 to eliminate this minus the feed forward gain divided by 1 minus BS beta S AS and now this here is the basic transfer characteristic of a positive feedback system. What we have is the feed forward gain AS and divided by 1 minus the loop gain and the loop gain is the feed forward gain times the feedback gain. So the loop gain I can define as AS beta S. So what we can see here is that for 
a very specific signal there, <coughs> there are conditions that the denominator in this expression becomes infinite so we can see here that in case so the denominator is then is equal to 1 minus ls and then in case if the denominator or the loop gain becomes equal to 1 then af explodes so if the transfer characteristic is infinite infinite then this means <coughs> that for zero input I can have a stable output if my input is zero so no input and the transfer characteristic this transfer characteristic is infinite then <coughs> I have the conditions to generate an output signal X out which will be with a stable amplitude and a stable frequency so let's see <coughs> what are these conditions so ls the transfer characteristic in s domain should be one so for sine wave signals s can be substituted with j omega zero where omega zero is the frequency of oscillation so the first condition of course is that the phase of the loop gain should be equal to zero yeah? so that i have no imaginary part you see that here this expression the expression l j omega zero can be in the most generic form of the form some real part plus some imaginary part so i have the requirement that this is one which means that the first condition the phase equals to zero requires that the imaginary part is actually a zero then the phase rotation of the loop gain is actually equal to zero or to 360 the same thing now if this condition is satisfied I can look in the second condition and the second condition is that the modulus of the loop gain transfer should be equal to one yeah so and then I satisfy the requirement <coughs> that the loop gain is equal to 1 and the transfer characteristic is infinite and I can have a uh, sine wave output without having any input. Now, these two conditions are called the Parkhausen criteria for oscillations. If they are satisfied, a positive feedback system will become a sine wave oscillator. The conditions are that the loop gain, which is the feed forward gain times the feedback gain, has phase rotation of zero or 360 degrees, or um, and and that the loop gain, uh, the feed forward gain times the feedback gain is equal to one. 